So that was Nudelmeister Genk. You can actually see the shop here behind me. And it's a really interesting shop that serves uh, two distinct uh, types of ramen. Um, of course, both in, in shio and uh, shoyu varieties. And uh, depending on the day, you'll either get their uh, chicken and um, shellfish ramen, which they only have when the Tsukiji fish market is open. Or on other days, you get their their chicken and niboshi. Now, today I had their chicken and niboshi with a shoyu tare, shoyu, the soy sauce uh, seasoning. And I have to say, it was really fantastic. And um, not only the, the ramen itself, the, the soup, but also the noodles were a real experience. I think those were some of the slurpiest noodles I ever had. Really easy to slurp. And like, if you're a real like slurping beginner, then this shop here is a perfect training ground to, you know, get really get the slurp going. And um, the toppings also were really excellent. They got some um, sous vide chicken going on. They have a, a really nice piece of uh, pork belly, real nice thick cut. So you got your uh, top chasha game right there. The egg was really on point, uh, perfectly executed. And I really like their seasoning. It's a little bit more on the sweeter side. So they probably use a little bit more of uh, mirin in their seasoning. Um, but yeah, it really fit well together. And uh, I saw them um, boiling the chicken, or <clears throat> I'm saying them, I think it's, uh, it's just one guy run, uh, running the shop. And I had a chance to talk to him a little bit. And uh, yeah, he just had a, a pot of, full of chicken going and he made uh, the, the second soup uh, full of uh, niboshi. So he then mixes both of them up. And uh, he said that he uses, uh, especially uh, older chicken that are at the end of their egg laying times, uh, which then have uh, a little bit of a more intense flavor. And uh, it's it's really interesting. He said those would normally be thrown away and he uses them and makes really extraordinary ramen with that. And uh, that's what ramen is often all about, uh, using the ingredients that you can have, uh, that you can get, um, using everything and without that throwing anything away. And I think that is uh, exemplified here uh, really well at Noodlemeister Genk. And I think that's all from me for today. Check out um, namajapan.tv if you want to read a little bit more and not just watch. And if you like my videos, click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.